back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys! So I am here today to do another book haul because I went on a little bit of a buying spree this month. I don't know exactly why, I just decided it was time. I've not really bought like a whole load of books at once for a while. I've been buying books here and there but I haven't just splashed out and done a big order online. So it seems like it was just time. It was just, it was just time <laughs> and that's what I did. I have 11 books here that I bought for myself. I think about five or so that I've been sent by publishers. So I'm going to go through them fairly quickly. But we'll start off with the ones that I bought for myself. First book I picked up is The Song of Achilles, which is by Madeline Miller or Madeline Miller. And I have heard about this one for years. Um, lots of people have said it's good, but it was only recently that I decided to pick it up because Eleanor and Janet, whose channels I will link below, both read it recently and they both said it was absolutely amazing and then when I asked on Twitter for recommendations of LGBTQ plus books because this month is Pride Month this was really highly recommended for that as well so it sounds like it's gonna be really really good I don't really know too much about it other than it's set in Greece and it follows Patroclus who I really can't pronounce Greek names so he's a prince and he is young and awkward and he is exiled to the court of King Peleus and then whilst he's there he befriends King Peleus's son who is called Achilles and I guess it turns into more than just a friendship. I have heard that this is phenomenal and just so worth picking up so of course I did can't wait to dive into this. Not sure when I'll get to it, but hopefully really soon. Um, would be good if I could fit it into June, and I am doing a no TBR June, so I can kind of pick up what I want, but it depends if I can manage to squeeze this in amongst everything else I want to get to this month, so we'll see. Very excited to have it though. The next few books are books that I have picked up for the project that Eleanor and I are doing, and by the time this video goes up I feel like it's still won't have been announced or it might just have been announced so I'm not going to tell you anything about them because I'll go into more detail in that video. So the first one I've got for that is Turn of Mind by Ellis LaPlante and this one I think is a thrillery kind of book, that's all I'm going to say. And then the other one I've got for the project is The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks which is by Rebecca Sklut. This I believe is a non-fiction but again, that's all I'm going to say for now. Tell a lie, I have one more that's also for that project, and that is Three Letter Plague, which is by Johnny Steinberg. Won't say any more about it, but this will be in that video. The next one I picked up is the sixth book in the Jean M. All series. I don't yet have book four and five in physical form, but I found this really cheap online, and it's in perfect condition, really. Just a bit of creasing on the spine, and I like breaking my spines anyway, so that's not an issue to me. So I got this one super duper cheap and I couldn't really resist it because I am currently reading the series. If you want to know more about this I've done a full review of the first two and I'm currently working my way through the fourth so when I've done that I'll be reviewing the third and fourth together as well and eventually I will get on to the fifth and the sixth. So I have the sixth ready and waiting. The next one I picked up is one that I am kind of long overdue to read and that is this one. It is Alana, The First Adventure by Tamora Pierce. I've not read any Tamora Pierce, but I have heard from a lot of friends that she is very good and that she's kind of like their childhood author who they all read when they were younger. And I clearly missed out because I think it's more of an American thing. Um, she's not that big over here. I picked up this one, which I believe is the first one in a series. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it follows a girl called Alana and she is trying to become a knight, I think. And that's about all I know, but it sounds pretty cool and pretty kick-ass, so hopefully I like it. The next one I picked up because I'm currently on a Tad Williams binge, and this one is Shadow March. I believe it's the first one in his Shadow March series. <laughs> I'm guessing it's kind of a classic fantasy. It says, at the uppermost edge of the Northern Kingdom lies South March Castle. For hundreds of years it's been isolated from the affairs of the Empire, but now it's under siege from both its neighbours without and the more insidious enemies who would destroy it from within. I've heard good things about this series in particular. I really like the cover design because it's purple and purple's my favourite colour and I'm looking forward to reading some more of Tad Williams. I'm currently on the second part of Two Green Angel Tower. Once I'm through that I'm going on to the Witchwood Crown 
and then I'll go on to this, although I don't know when because this is not like a brand new one or anything, it's just one that I've decided to pick up. Next one I picked up really cheap secondhand as well and this is another jo, jo Walton book, I decided I wanted to pick up some more of her work and this one is called My Real Children. I don't know much about it, it says it follows a girl called Patricia Cohen, kind of is torn between two people. Was she Triss, the housewife and the mother of four, or was she Pat, a successful travel writer and mother of three? She remembers living her life as both women very clearly, which is real, or are both just tricks of time and light. So I guess it follows these two storylines about what could have been, and we're trying to work out whether one of them actually is her life, whether both of them is, I'm not really sure, but I am intrigued, and Jo Walton definitely is a bit of a hit or miss author for me. I've read two of her books now and I've enjoyed one of those two, so I'm hoping that this will be one I enjoy. Next I have a book that I picked up because of Mercedes and that one is a kind of graphic novel book. It's called Ethel and Ernest and it's by Raymond Briggs and I believe it follows the story of his parents and kind of the time that they lived through and it's quite a commentary on like Britain at the time of the world wars and at the time of political upheaval and changes and it definitely sounds really intriguing, apparently it's kind of depressing too but it's illustrated in his classic style so I quite like Raymond Briggs and he's done quite a few other things as well and it's a really short little book but I believe it was made into a TV show or TV programme, my mum said she'd watched it so I know and apparently it's good so I'm definitely looking forward to this, I know that Mercedes got recommended it from Lauren from Lauren Books so I trust both of them and I hope I like it and I might get to this one on the Getting Graphic Readathon that's happening on the 17th because it would definitely count for that so I might might read it then as like a little break up from everything else. Next up another one that I picked up quite cheap is this one and it's called The Antelope Wife and it's by Louise Erdrich I've heard good things about this writer, I believe she focuses on Native American culture in her books quite often and I've heard that she does it quite well so I hope that is the case. This is quite a short book and it follows Rosin and Richard who are living in Minneapolis with their two young daughters and they're quite far away from their Native American ancestors but one day one of their acquaintances kidnaps a strange silent young woman from a Native American camp and bing brings her back to live with him as a wife. The connections they all hold to the past rear up to confront them, soon the patterns of their ancestors begin to repeat themselves with truly tragic consequences. It follows three generations of one family who are more closely linked than they could ever imagine and it's also shrouded in myth and a tale of heartbreaking realism full of humour and belief in the resilience of the human spirit. So it sounds pretty dark and intriguing all at once and I'm always interested in learning a bit more about Native American culture because I do find it totally fascinating and really eye-opening to read books that are not the same as me so anything that's not a western lifestyle is really cool so I'm definitely looking forward to this, I'm hoping I can get to this fairly soon because it's not a long read and it would be nice to read something a little bit different. And finally the last one I bought for myself is this one which has a horrible bookmark in it at the moment, just a scrap of paper, because I am currently just about starting it, I've only read the first chapter. This is The Wall of Storms by Ken Liu, it's book two in the Dandelion Dynasty series, the first of which was The Grace of Kings, which I have reviewed and absolutely loved, so I'm really hoping I like this second one as well, I've heard mixed things about the second one, whether it's better or not, hopefully it is, I guess I'll let you guys know once I've read it, it's quite chunky and I am going to be buddy reading this one with James whose channel is James Chatham and Raya whose channel is Bofinkin so I'll link both of them below as well and you can go and check them out but I'm very excited because I do love the fact that this is kind of a oriental Asian inspired twist on a Game of Thrones style of fantasy book really enjoyed the first, hopefully the second will be great. And next up I have five books that I've been sent by publishers or as part of a subscription box. So the first one is the June Book Buddy Box book and that one was The Outcasts which is by Kathleen Kent. This one I did unbox in my June uh, Book Buddy Box unboxing so I'll put a link to that and I won't really talk too much about it but it does sound really really fascinating actually and I'm super intrigued about this 
so I'm definitely hoping I can get to this fairly soon as well. The next one I was sent very kindly by the author and it's the second one in a series. The first one is The Valley of Embers, the second one is The Emerald Blade. This just came out, this second one, and it's by Stephen Kellier and I recommended the first one to you guys in my May wrap up because I read it and really enjoyed it last month and I'm super looking forward to going into book two which is quite a lot chunkier than the first one but it was a really fast fun read the first book and I'm definitely hopeful that the second one will continue to be awesome so I'll definitely report back on this one too I'm probably going to review the first one and then review this one separately but I'll do it very soon hopefully so look out for that the next book is one I requested from Galant because they sent out their catalogue and were like would you like any of these and I said yes please I'd love this one it's Orsina Revolution is in the Air by Ursula K Le Guin of course it's an Ursula K Le Guin book I'm gonna want it so I believe this is a fantasy book and it's set in central Europe a little east of Austria perhaps and north of Slovenia where the old kingdom of Orsinia lies. A land of forests and quiet farmlands and towns with its capital city Krasnoy on the broad Molson River. Orsinia has always found itself, like all the other countries of Europe, subject to forces beyond its borders. Yet, cast as they are in the shadows, tyrannies both western and eastern, the lives and dreams to free its people are no less important than the great arguments of Europe's emperors and dictators. Here then are those lives in tales of romance and bloodlust, hope and fear, freedom and tyranny, passion and despair, tales of love and life and death amidst the great 19th century rise of liberalism and nationalism, a tale of revolution against the might of the Habsburg Empire. So it definitely sounds very rooted in reality but with some fantastical twists. I'm super intrigued about this one, I'm definitely going to report back. And the final book that I've been sent is this beauty which is called Aurabelle and it's by Laura Dockrell. I've heard really good things about the first book in this series, I believe this is the second so I am gonna have to get the first. If you are the publisher watching please send me the first one. Um, but I'm definitely intrigued about this. The first one sounded really good, it was called Lorelei and I believe it's a mermaid story. I'm not hugely into mermaids but I've heard nothing but praise about the first book in this series so I really do want to give it a go and it looks beautiful as well. I've got a little bookmark thing that has what the other one looks like. So, I mean, they would look lovely together, wouldn't they? Sort of the mermaid scales and they're gorgeous. So yeah, definitely love the bookmark, love the book. Just need book one to be able to start this. That is what the first one looks like. And on the back of this card, it says, I fight, I can roar, I am strong, and I ain't just any old myrrh. I'm half metal, mate, and ready for revenge. So there you go. Sounds intriguing, but I do need to get to book one. Let me know if you've read the first one in this series and what you thought of it. So that, my friends, is everything for this haul. I have no doubt that I will soon be doing another because I have a few books that have not arrived yet from my order. Um, I just ordered lots of books secondhand, which was great. And yeah, some of them haven't arrived yet, so I do need to wait for them. But when they do, you can expect another haul coming very soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys! Thank you for watching a video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.